Hello Earthlings, on 14th of February 1990, NASA's space probe Voyager 1 has sent this photograph of Earth captured from an incredible distance of 6 billion kilometers. Famously known as, Pale Blue Dot, it remains the furthest photograph ever taken of Earth. Main objective of the Voyager interstellar mission was to extend NASA's exploration beyond the neighborhood of outer planets to the outer limits of our solar system. Voyager 2 was launched on August 20, 1977, from the Kennedy Space Center and Voyager 1 followed 16 days later. The probe's main objective was to conduct close-up studies of the outer planets, including their large moons. Voyager 1 was launched on a faster, more direct path that would send the spacecraft hurtling towards Jupiter and Saturn. While Voyager 2 would take a slightly different path, that would also take it past the two gas giants, but then onto Uranus and Neptune. Photography of Jupiter began in January 1979, when images of the brightly banded planet already exceeded the best taken from Earth. Voyager 1 completed its Jupiter encounter in early April, after taking almost 19,000 pictures and many other scientific measurements. This time lapse records Jupiter over a period of 60 days and shows the gas planet swirling clouds rotating within bright bands. Incredible close-up images of Jupiter's famous storm, the Great Red Spot, was also captured like never before. Measuring 16,350 kilometers in width, it is large enough to engulf Earth, making it the largest storm in our solar system. The spot was first observed 300 years ago. Like a hurricane on Earth, the center is relatively calm, but farther out, the wind screams at 430 to 680 km per hour making it one of the most hostile place in our neighborhood. But it wasn't just a Jupiter that Voyager 1 studied. Many of the gas planet's mysterious moons were also photographed, such as the volcanic moon, Io. Discovery of active volcanism on this satellite was probably the greatest surprise. It was the first time active volcanoes had been seen on another body in the solar system. Voyager 1 eventually completed its flyby in early April 1979, and continued on to the second largest gas planet in our solar system. Nearly 20 months later, on 9 November 1980, Voyager 1 finally reached the ringed world of Saturn. During its flyby, Voyager 1 discovered phenomena similar to Earth's aurora, due to hydrogen emission on polar latitudes. This is observed with special ultraviolet sensors. During the flyby, Voyager 1 also encountered Saturn's largest moon Titan. The enhanced photograph reveals Titan's hazy nitrogen-rich atmosphere, which led scientists to theorize that seas of liquid methane and ethane might exist on the Moon's surface, which was later confirmed by the Cassini mission back in 2004. With its primary mission complete, the spacecraft will begin its journey to the unknown and shall leave our solar system entirely. After streaking through space for nearly 35 years, Voyager 1 officially left our solar system on 25th of August 2012. Currently Voyager 1 is zipping away at 61,000 km per hour and as of today it is at a distance of 22.6 billion km from us. Making it the most distant man-made object from Earth. But at a distance of 6 billion km, Voyager 1 was commanded by NASA at the request of the astronomer Carl Sagan to point its camera back towards the Sun one last time. On 14 February 1990, the spacecraft captured a series of images, capturing first-ever family portrait of our solar system. The mosaic consists of 60 frames that, once magnified revealed Venus, Earth, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The famous photograph of Earth, later known as the pale blue dot, captures our planet as a tiny blue speck in a magnificent beam of scattered light. Barely visible within the vastness of space, Sagan reflected on the pale blue dot at a public lecture at Cornell University and later wrote about it in his book. Look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it everyone you love. Everyone you know. Everyone you have ever heard of. Every human being who ever was. 
lived out their lives. As a part of interstellar mission, NASA placed a time capsule, specifically a golden record on each Voyager probe intended to communicate a story of our world to extraterrestrials. These records contain sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. Along with a map, depicting position of our solar system in observable universe. But that is a topic of another wondering episode. If you enjoy topics like these, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. And as always, keep wondering.